Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new little series or mini series on crop rotation, a farming card drafting roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out again here today. Played the demo a little over two months ago and I really enjoyed it. We're checking out the pre-release here today because the game comes out in about three weeks from this video and we get to check it out a bit early, which is quite cool. So in we are gonna go, if you don't know what a card drafting roguelike means, you may be more familiar with a luck via landlord or something like that. It's that kind of a genre that's starting to pop up a bit more and more. So in we're gonna go to the tutorial here because it's been a while and also things may have changed. Also, I'm noticing a lot of like visual improvements and the music is less dour. I'm, I'm very excited to get into it and see what's new. By purchasing the CR3000, you are one step closer to achieving your dream of becoming the best automation farmer. CR3000 is the latest and greatest of automated farming technology, so please refer to the instruction manual provided for more information. As per the loan agreement, you're required to repay the loan by the end of the year. We'll also be collecting a weekly payment. Please note that if you fail to pay the weekly amount, the farm and the machine will be confiscated from the Bank of Greatness. All right, gain 15 water at the start of the day. Okay, so we also have like a, uh, oh, the tutorial is so much better, dude. Okay, sorry. Not a thing to get as excited about as that, but I am. You'll always start the game by choosing three common crops. Okay. So I do know that we're going to be looking for some kinds of synergies, typically through like these set bonuses. If you played like an auto battle or auto chess game, the more seed type cards you have, like we're going to get some extra bonuses. So keeping things within kind of a, a similar vibe might be a good call. Sells for above market value. Sells for 25. On mature gain two value if it changes to fruit. I'll just get the cocoa bean for now. Okay. So we know we have that. We have the seed and the... Uh, okay, we got n no synergies there. On mature gain two value if adjacent to something sour. Consume two water and gain three value on mature. Add a value to adjacent. Sure. You can also hover over some of the text on the cards to see what they mean. Right-clicking on a card allows you to see what the card at different tiers. Oh, that's nice. We can do... Gotcha. So, because they can be upgraded by combining more together. Uh, so, we've got like a little bit of a glow here because it's saying bada-bing, bada-boom. You got a slight synergy of brewing if you pick that, it seems like. Um, so, we could go for a couple of these on mature gain 2 value if the water is at least 140. We'll have to just grab something and see sure this is your farm you can always start with four plots you can expand the farm with gold start the machine by pressing the start button this is your active area and cards here will be automatically played in order starting from left to right this is the storage area you can keep extra cards there and crop cards will always cost water to play and require an empty plot on the farm if either criteria is not met the card is then skipped when a card is played, the crop will be planted on a random empty plot. Okay. Tools like sprinklers will need to be active in the active area in order to work. So right here we have a tool. Sprinkler, add 20 water. This is the amount of water you have. The farm can hold up to 150. At the end of the day, crops will mature. Before harvesting, you can hover over any crop to see the crop's details. You can also hover over these to see a summary of what happened. Cool. Yeah, lots of them. It's so nice. Now, click the green button to harvest all the crops. Only the matured crops will be harvested. The rest will stay on the farm. Gain two value on mature. Gain two value if the water's at least 140. Okay, good. So it seems like it has, yeah, the base value of two, and then it gave itself the extra. So I was wondering if, like, maybe we should relocate it after the water, but we don't have to. The gold amount you gain is displayed here. It also shows the current season and the current day of the week. Hover over them to see the payments due. Gotcha. Cool. At the start of every day, you also get to choose a contract. You can only have up to three going at once. So these are kind of be kind of like quests where we get a reward if we meet this criteria. Uh, a cat, harvest seven wet crops. Get a cat. After an uncommon or rare crop matures, it will gain three value. Uh, I don't think I have... It also tells you the things that are related. 
So six herb crops, you got C right there, one related card, so it can help you make your decisions a little bit quicker. Increase the value of all crops on the farm by three. Should probably be the last card. So that's a, this is a tool we can put in. That actually is pretty interesting. Draft a fruit crop card three times. I feel like I need to have this. I need a cat. Okay, cocoa bean, sell for above market value. This card sells for 25. So I... Th the card sells for 25. And that's like when we're getting rid of the card, or that's when we sell the cocoa bean. That I don't know. Amateur gain two value if adjacent to fruits, two if it's adjacent to vegetable. I'll just grab another one of those. Left side, you can see the active set bonuses. Crop type set bonuses are activated by having crops of the same types, but only the first type of each crop is counted. That may be confusing if you played like an auto chess game. It just means you can't have two cocoa beans applying the same set bonuses. So how it's like a seed and it's also bitter. You're not going to, if you have two cocoa beans, you see we don't have two bitter. Uh, so this is without the effect. Set bonus is active, so we need three crops in order to gain an extra common crop card at the end of every day. That's what we would get if we get an extra seed. By having more crops of one type, you will unlock the higher tier of that set bonus. All right. So I guess if this card sells for 25, I, I suppose it's like a nice pivot out. When a sweet crop matures, it gains five value if it's adjacent to a bitter. I do have a bitter and the sweet, so that could be helpful. At the end of the day, I gain three water for each unused plot. I don't know how much I'm gonna do with that. Harvest 11 tier one crops, that should be pretty usable. Gain two value for every 10 cards played. On mature, gain two value if adjacent to a vegetable. I don't think I have a lot of vegetables right now. I'll grab the sunflower. Gain two value for every 10 cards played. You can hover over this to see the estimated requirement of your deck. If you haven't, you should probably expand your farm for your fifth crop. Right. Dunzo. Sell for five. Sell for 25. Yeah, so this is just... The card itself will sell for a really high amount. So I can pivot out pretty nice if I need to. Okay. They're doing their thing. Do a little bit of harvest. Passive. When a fruit crop matures, gain four value if it's adjacent to a sweet and sour. It's... Squirrel. Draft a new crop after every 30 crop cards are played. You know what? Sure. Do passives need to be in the the thing? I'm not sure. Two value if adjacent to a sweet. Don't have that much sweet as it currently stands. Sour on mature. Add one value to adjacent. Two if adjacent to sweet. Two value for... I mean, I'm going to go for the sunflower. You can upgrade cards by combining two of the same uh, type and level. To combine them, drop one of them over the other. Different cards also have a different max level, denoted by the number of stars at the bottom of the card. So I do want to see what happens if I come. Okay. 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 So combining is not just like, for this one, it's not just turn it up to 50, or we, we get a full value up. So that's a tier two. We can't combine this, though. Not yet. Three value for every nine cards played. We have one, two, three. We still have five, so we can go ahead and pop that down. We have five seeds, five plots. No reason to expand. We should have expanded last time, but that's not that big of a deal. So let me see here. Most of our value is coming from the rice. Interesting. So therefore, maybe, I mean, maybe I get another, maybe I get another rice as is, but I kind of should probably start looking at some synergies. When a sweet crop matures, it gains a value, gain two value if adjacent to a bitter crop. Lily, on mature two value if the water is at least 140. We do kind of have something going with that already. At the start of the day, gain 10 water, root sweet. Amateur, two value if adjacent to a flower. We're, we're going all over the place here. 
That covers the basics of the game. You can click the compendium to find out more. Oh, and payment for the week is due in two harvests, so good luck. Yeah, the tutorial is a lot, a lot better here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. We plant it. So when a sweet crop matures, it gains a little bit of extra value here. All right. So we got that. Passive permit. Sweet and bitter permit. Okay. So we're going to be looking for a little bit of uh, bitter stuff as well. I will grab it. All crops gain two value for every 50 water gain wet permit. <laughs> okay. When a flower crop measures, I don't really care about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. So there's sour. I do... Wait, so is this bitter? This type is currently inactive. It's activated by the flower synergy. Oh, three crops unlock an additional flavor type in all flowers. Oh, interesting. I mean, I guess so. We have the sunflower going already, which would give us the sour. I could grab the spinach and then combine. I could do the same with... No, I can't do the same with the sunflower because we don't have another. Passive will provide effect if it's in the active or in the storage area. So it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant whether or not it's down here or up there for that one, which is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 40 out of 20. We're, we're good on our first payment, which, I mean, thank God. Draft a new crop every 30 crop cards played. So we these can also be combined and upgraded. I don't have anything for this. At the end of the day, gain three water for each unused plot. I don't have any uncommon or rares right now either, though, so... Do I have mint? I do have mint. But I also, I do like the idea of going for the bitter onion. Do I have an onion? Don't have an onion, but we do have both of those set. I mean, of course we have some of those set bonuses going. We have our finger in so many pies right now. I don't think that's going to be what we're going for. When a crop matures, it gains a value if it's adjacent to a flavor. That certainly could be a thing. I don't know if I'm going to go for it, like, right now. So the upgrade for this, it's, yeah, it's, it's technically it loses a little bit of uh, value for us. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Technically, we should get a little bit more. All right, because we still have plenty of uh, plenty of money for our first harvest here. We only need twenty. It's thirty-seven out of twenty, so like we're all good. We're from the Farmers Association. We too have been through the exploitation of the bank. To help you with the loan, we'll provide you with some spare tools every week. So good luck. Increase the value of all crops on the farm by three. Play the crop card in the next one slot. I'll I'll go for the fertilizer. We will want to put that in the end. Wet seed. So what do we have for this? We're currently at one for... Okay, for wet. Two value for each unique flavor. Sweet, sour, bitter, spicy. We do have kind of like a little bit of a lot of those things going right now. So that actually could be a pretty good kind of angle to go for. Cocoa bean, unfortunately, I don't have the empty spot. So let's, uh, hold on. I guess I'll just buy the extra, extra slot for now. We are going to go ahead and do this, because I'm trying to gear up to sell this for, like, a large sum. That's basically the whole plan for that one right there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... It'd be kind of nice if there was like a, like a five, a ten, you know, like just like tiny little things. But I guess it's kind of got some overload already as is. Um, 
for 50 gold. We have seven harvests. We can go ahead and do this. It ain't gonna be that big of a deal. Okay, then everything gains three value there. Pretty good. After an uncommon or rare crop matures, it gains three value. It's not even, like, huge. Passive, all crops gain two value for every 50 water gained. It's passive, so we're going to be gaining 60, so we're not getting, like, a ton of stuff. Ooh, what the hell? Sweet and bitter permit. So these are the options. We don't get both of them. When a root crop matures, fruit crop, I mean, I think we'll we'll grab this. We don't have a ton of flowers, but I think that's okay. We're going to be combining those. Okay, so this one does just straight up double, which is nice. That's all I need that one to do. So we want to get a lot of different unique flavors. I'll grab the cauliflower for the sidelines here. I don't have the lily yet, so I think that getting the flower synergy on that sounds very appealing. And then we're going to have to go in and we're going to have to audit some stuff here. We are really going to have to audit. Like, we'll probably move out of, like, the seeds because those have been a really nice thing to help us start to build up a path here. If we gain one more seed and then eventually, we, like, we sell all of our seeds, I think that would be probably the smart way of going about it pivoting more into kind of like flowers and all of the flavors. That seems to be the idea here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We good? Don't need to pop that in anywhere. So we have seven payments that we need to go for. 137, like, we're doing, we're doing a lot now. Sweet and spicy, when a sweet crop matures, gains five value if adjacent to is spicy. I do like the idea of, um, of mixing and matching. We don't have a ton to get there. We could also get, get the extra cat. Passive daily limit one spreads flower to an adjacent unused plot after it's played. That's kind of cool, too, actually. If we are going to be moving towards flowers. Three value for Jason's spicy. I don't know, man. I think that actually could be a, that could be a good angle. Fruit sweets. Fruit sour. We need bitter. Okay, definitely want, definitely want that. So maybe we should sell something down here instead. Could maybe, could maybe ditch that, but we like the sweet. Two value for each unique adjacent flavor. So that is the seed. That's the seed that we were going for. I feel like that probably gave us a good amount last time. Herb sweets. Get you out of here. I think we'll I think we'll do that. I think that's fine. We're definitely going for a sweet meta right now. Oop, that's right. Go ahead and combine that. On mature gain three value if the water is at least at 135. Okay. It is, but we are we added we gained 50 with an excess of five. Gotcha. So the 15 water from the start of the day may be a really important element going on here. Holy. Another sweet and spicy permit. After a common crop matures, it gains two value. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Sour and spicy permit. What's the permit I have coming up? Eh. Let's get the squirrel, hopefully. Coffee bean. On mature, gain a two times value multiplier. Hmm. 
Nah, I don't think we're going... We'll get a little bit with that, but I'm not going to focus too, too much on it. Get that combination. Rice. We ditched the rice. We still have the strawberry. I do like the idea of the cauliflower. Gain two value if adjacent to two or more empty plus. That's not going to happen. So we did get the uh, the flower synergy, so we have the unlocked triples. That's what's going on there. Oops. God, we grabbed so many cauliflowers. I <laughs> Collect. We have 530. We needed 80. So we're going to go for... Whoop, whoop. So that went up to tier 3. Five value if adjacent to spicy. I need some spicy. I don't know if I even have any yet. It's something we're going to need to be looking for. Spicy and bitter. Eight root crops. We can get that. We can get this pretty easily. Gain a new chicken after every 30 seed crops are harvested card sells for 100, so that's just like a a ditch it kind of a thing. The bitter and spicy. Come on. Come on, we gotta find we gotta find a spicy thing. We can re-roll for five bucks. Combo here. Man. Okay, so we do have uh, we do have bitter at the very least. So like that's giving us value, so that helps. Cocoa bean. We could just plant another one. Cost a hundred bucks for another thing here. I think we should probably let's do the bitter so that we have an extra like opportunity to get this permit doing something. I think that that's probably in our best interest here. Dang. All right, so the question is spread flour. What's the daily limit? Does it just daily limit goes up? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I just was just clicking out of it. That's okay. I definitely know I want the squirrel. The question is, should I ditch a space in my inventory? Probably not. I think we just keep on expanding and combining here. Oh, you get to choose an upgrade. Uh, What am I looking at here? Every 20 crop cards played. Am I... What am I... What am I looking at here? Those... Those look the same. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we could get another squirrel. We start getting that. What is up here? Now nah, we'll grab over here. The cauliflower sounds lovely. Oh, that's right. We'll probably move. I mean, 200. Now this is getting a little bit sketchy. I feel like we don't have the water for this. Spicy, gain two value if adjacent to a vegetable. Well, finally, we did get a spicy, so I guess... I'll ditch... It's a lot of sweets. Vegetable sweet. That one sounds decent. Herb sweet. I mean, I feel like if we were ditching a sweet, the mint would probably go. One, two, three, four. We got, okay, we have a nice clean 12. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. But we also have, we did not take the B because it like, yeah, we clicked out too quickly there. All right, send it. Twenty. Holy. 
So that's not even by the peppers right now. That didn't even get placed by the peppers. Not big on a lot of these rewards. Play the next crop... Play the crop card in the next one slot. We could, like, use that to dupe a specific one that we have that we are liking a lot. Sunflower. I do have it. I do kind of like it. carrot because I can go for the combo. Cauliflower, we're definitely working that up. Lily, I have it. I don't have... I can't make like a clean combo. I'd have to go for an upgrade. I think that's fine. But I also don't know how much we're going to really <laughs> have that much water left. Bell pepper. I almost think we run a second bell pepper without combining. Do I sell this yet? I kind of want to wait to combine it, because that, that's the thing is it's in my best interest to to get that combo going. Okay, so instead I took the mint out. Do I, should I just sell the mint? I think I just sell the mint. I know we could just go all in on the sweet, but I, I feel like having another pepper to potentially hit another cauliflower would be really beneficial for me. I, I can't spend the 400 right now for the extra space because it's one harvest. We actually probably could, eh, now that I think about it, but still. Mm -hmm. So we have the vegetable sweet. If it tastes too bitter, we have not a lot of bitter. Got a little bit of bitter. Eh. Three value if it's adjacent to a vegetable. Does this count as a vegetable? Good, good, good. It should. I was just making sure. All right, pepper by cauliflower is theoretically giga value. I don't know if it got the... Nope. But the sweet and bitter permit sure did its thing there. Grab the squirrel. Oh no, our 80. Summer's upon us. Here's an additional sprinkler to help you. Okay. So the question is, all crops now cost an additional water to play. So that is the thing. We no longer get the free water at the beginning. We also have to pay the extra, so it's kind of a nasty thing. Mm, we have a lot of common crops, so that could be okay. Don't have that much fruits. Reduce the cost of any crop card by two if it shares a type of with the card... Uh, oh, card before mulch. We'll take the sweet and spicy permit. Another sprinkler actually sounds really nice. Time! It's a rare on mature add one value to all other... Cro okay, well, we have to do that. We have to do that. Sunflower... Boy, oh boy. Oh, we, wait, the, there's the cocoa bean, finally. You know what? Screw it. We'll take the extra space. Oh, shoot. That's right. That was up to freaking crazy levels. Says bitter. 7 plus 1. What's our current? Water cost 78. Water gain 85. Good. 12 and 12. Common cards. Okay. Cool. Good to know. That uses four water. Okay. All right. Send it. We could do the 400 to get the extra card played here. There's not much of a need for more... Too much more space than we have. Not sure what to do here. Draft an herb. I'll go for the bitter and spicy. I'm not feeling great about it. Okay, so now I'm kind of in a spot where it's like, I, I really do feel like I should <laughs> sell something. We're sitting on so many, like, half pairs. Nope. 
Keep going until I die. All right, I do like the sweet and spicy. Snow, nothing for the cats. Cat or squirrel. Right, yeah. Sweet and bitter, I, I do feel like is doing some good stuff for us. And we have quite a lot of things to get that, so it's good enough for me. Cauliflower. Black pepper on mature game. Two times value multiplier. Oh, that sounds so good, though. And we need to get some spicy stuff going. More stuff for the cauliflower. I feel like I gotta. So we'll get that in there. The question is, what are we removing? I think we're starting to maybe move out of the need. F uh, the need, the need for seed. I don't have that much sour, do I? I'm going to remove that. Okay. What do we got? Spinach. Bonus value for Jason to bitter. Spinach is like very ideally aligned with what we're already trying to do. So bitter is really nice. Sour is my least relevant one, right? I don't care that much about sour. Or at the very least, like, it might be good for my mental health if I don't care about sour. Yeah. I think that's the thing. Well, I'm going to check the value on my sunflower after this. And see where we're at on that. Spinach on mature game too. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. So, vegetable, no, I like that. So, fruits. Quit. I don't know how much value we're getting out of that. But it could probably go. I think it's, I think we're trying too hard on that one. Water cost something, okay. Carrot would be... Just like, I guess, sweet. We do like sweet a lot. Six harvest. So we could definitely, like, get that final... That final slot there. We also... We're up... We're not up 20. If we were up 20, we could ditch that other water. But we're just not, so... Bada bing, bada boom. Harvest eight sour crops. I, uh, that's basically, that's eight turns until we get this, is really what that is. When a vegetable matures, it gains four value if it is adjacent to another vegetable. How many vegetables do I have? Two. Two, but they are spread out across the board here pretty well. So that's actually kind of nice. Hmm, fine. Just because it's going to be done in like literally one second flat. Man. Just don't want to, just don't want to give up on the perceived value, you know? Want to make sure we get things going. Spinach. I think I'm going to keep those separated. For now. I think that'll be in our best interest. Cauliflower doing 32 there. That black pepper though. That's what I was... That's the thing. This one feels so good. I would like more of those, please. Do we want to start building for yet another carrot? Ooh, rare flower dry. On play, plant another hyacinth in a random unused plot. Is that... 
that helpful? Is that like, is that great? Is that like that good? I think it is because then it's, yeah, I would say it can be good. The cauliflower is uh, very helpful though. Man, we have so many pieces that I want to like combine. Okay. We're going to want to buy an, uh, an extra space up there, too. But that was just so that I could get the cauliflower spot. We need the bell pepper. The bell pepper is good. God dang it. Ouch. Just the bell pepper is, is really ideal. So now we have... It says estimated plot usage is... Um, is 13... But the Hyacinth should technically play an extra. It sure did. Oh, it sure did. And look at that value. We're at 402 just like that. It is a flower. It is not a vegetable or anything. It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I care about that that much anymore. We're pivoting out of needing rat. He's skipping. Sweet and spicy. Now, there we go. We do want that. Mint. Surely we have... We did have mint. On harvest, replant. If the value is at least 34. Probably good, but like I'm just gonna go with the spinach for now. Oops. We could combine. I kind of want to keep those separate for the time being. Spinach is just very good. Bell peppers, good. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Okay, so because I want to get more spicy out for more cauliflower boosting. Insert mode. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, that's nice. That's just an upgrade on that. Five. Of th I mean, that should be the case. But what did we want to do with the bell pepper? Do we want to combine? All right, we're done with that. Okay. Works for me. Not quite as good. Sweet and spicy, for sure. I guess the sweet and bitter, but we're running out of places to put these things. Notably, the only thing I don't have is the is the sour. I have every other format for it. Okay, lemongrass almond. I feel like re-rolling for five doesn't bother me. Cocoa bean. You know, it's like, it's nice, but it's not like that nice. So you could combine it that way. We could just pivot a little bit more tight into the, uh, I was going to say, what this, the bitter, spicy, permit angle that's kind of the thing is black pepper yeah the black pepper is killing it because it's getting in it's getting a base improvement from both the sweet and spicy permit and the bitter permit and the cat and then it gets multiplied by two after so like that's the thing it's hitting all those permits sweet and spicy 
That one's probably the ideal. We also, it, we should finish that one in like literally no time flat. I want that. We have, we have 2,000 bucks. We can handle it. Get another cauliflower for the road. Have anywhere to put this one? Nope. No, sir. Boom, boom, boom. The music is so much better in this now. The game is also so long. Like, I know I'm taking time to do it, but the game is also like, it is a hefty length of a run. Like a full-fledged run. It's so juicy long. For better or worse. Here's a shovel for you to rearrange. Remove a plot from your farm. Why? Why would I do that? Um, sweet and sour. Don't have a lot of sour. Sweet and bitter. I know we have the squirrel as well. Draft a crop card from your deck and storage. Oh, gee, that's so specific. Teach multiple harvests. Wither at the beginning of the third day, end of day, consume two water and gain four value. I'm going to go for the bell pad. Eh. Kind of glad that fizzled, actually. I'll do it. So if it's going to be there for extra up to three days, we put it in and we put three more slots. Um, I think that can go now. We lost the vegetable synergy. That's okay. It's a value of one. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. So it's we're going to have two empty plots for now. Where's the peach at? 40, 50, 50. So then we harvest. That should stay. I'm actually going to get the cat since we like, we can so easily just go like this and save up space. Add 20 water. What's our water situation like? You know, we actually have to keep that in keep it in mind because of um, the peach on the third day consumes a little bit of extra water, so we have to care a bit. It's got a couple things I'm working on, but it's also going to be harder to get it. That's fine; it's worth it. Just gonna skip at this point. Bell pepper. I'm in. Let's go ahead and combine there. So we have the one extra peach there. Now we only have one extra space. And if I understand it correct, it's gonna wither after this one. So we don't we don't like the bitter. Cool. 20 value. Good, 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 good. Hmm. We don't like the sour. That's what it is. We got so many crops of so many different categories at this point now that it just doesn't even... Okay. Uh, Combine. How many sweet? We have so many sweet. We probably don't need quite as many. We could probably let, let's check our uh, our value at the end of the day here today. See what's really underperforming. Okay, so that's the way that it withers. So we have we do have a, a one extra. But, okay, so black pepper is the most, then the peach that checks out. But that's also the value of um, how many peaches. That's the value of. Could have been three, technically. Carrot is actually popping off. 
Because it's adjacent to the flower, I guess. Sweet synergy, sweet and bitter, sweet and spicy. Yeah, it's got all that. I mean, like, it makes sense. I feel like getting, like, if we can get a bunch more spicy. What, so what is it? Why would I do this? Why would I remove a plot? Why would I want to remove a plot here? Spreads flower to adjacent unused pot after it's played. I'm going to grab that and get some cauliflower spreading. Red chili on mature increase the value of all crops by two if water's at least 135. Absolutely, yes. And we can get another one. I think we want to go for mostly the... Um, Yeah, bitter, sweet, and spicy. I mean, that's kind of what I'm going for. Yeah, that, that that is what I'm going for, but I kind of want to increase, go a little bit more for the spicy at this point. On mature, gain two value for each unique flavor adjacent to it. It is a better version of what we were already going to be doing. Okay, so now we need to do some, some pruning, I guess. Uh, do we, or do we just need to... Oh, that can't be combined. That's right. Okay, so this one's spicy as well. We'll do that. So that's a whole bunch of spicy synergy already, which should make my black pepper go even crazier than it already did. So yeah, that one withers at the start of the day. Yeah, the black pepper just went up to 80. Not bad. Hyacinth. I, I wouldn't mind getting the Hyacinth upgrade because it just, it's a multiple. Man, I just feel like I want to keep going forever, but it's also just like, you know what would probably help? A, got me going faster. Like, I get it, but I bet you, yeah. Let's check out four animation speed and see what happens. Yeah, that helps. Bitter spicy. I think that's helpful. Don't have the space for it as it currently stands. Don't care about that. Sweet and spicy, we do care about. Man. So many half pieces here. Flower roots. Oh, cocoa bean. Not bad. I'll take that. I'll certainly take that. I'm mature. Two value to those in the same row. I mean, it's already, you know. Okay, one more roll. Cauliflower for the road. Cauliflower for the road. We had it nice and clean and easy, and then we, <laughs> we messed it up once more. Okay, we're still fine on the water. Where's the thing with the... Oh, okay. Say, so where's the thing with the bee? Turn on shuffle mode. There we go. All right. A lot of stuff there that I know that I want. I'll get the ginger because I can get a nice clean upgrade on that right away. God, yeah, the speed up mode really helps. Okay, so did we dupe the cauliflower? Is that the case? It is. Should we have... Black pepper's not a, not a flower. So if we... I guess we could do the the hyacinth, right? Sweet and spicy. We really like that one. There's no combination that we got. But we can't combine there either. There's our payment. Trade in an animal to get an animal of the same tier. I'm like... At the end of the day, before harvesting, spawn a weed crop 
in your unused plots. I could just buy more plots. I'm not worried about that. Sells for 200. We could get another B. I like the idea of that at this point. Fertilizer. Uh, we really got to start pruning things down now. Bitter fruit. Wither the beginning of the third day while matured, and after every eight crop cards played, consume two water and harvest once. That seems actually very good, and is justification for, like, all of the plots. Using all the plots. Do we have anything to combine here right now? I don't think so. It's hard to say. Can't use that yet. Uh, wanted to get it out of the way. So I'll ditch you for now. What? Right click to use. Right click to use. Click. Left click, right click, left click, right click. I think it's just because this is going. I'm going to skip for now just because I don't have the... Gotcha. Same tier. After your crop matures, gains four value. You know what? Oof. Super B. Wouldn't mind the B again. Yep. Okay. Um, this is going to get silly. <laughs> okay. Because um, hear me out. We move this up here. We super duper plant a million of them. In fact, we're probably planting too many of them already. Unless it doesn't work. The yeah, that's kind of what I thought. It does ruin the adjacency. Oh, wait, wait, wait. On all unused plots. Gotcha. So that ruins stuff. Did not realize that's what you meant. I'm going to get more bees. Should have read that one a little bit closer. Uh, nope. Probably shouldn't have combined that one quite so much there, but oh well. So do these all at least wither? Oh. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait, the grass is... The grass is giving me value. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is a good thing. Wasn't anticipating that. So it's like, choose the one that you're partially finished with, and or not? I mean, it's like, do you want to reset or not? It's like, yeah, I want to reset. Yeah. Sweet and spicy will probably be what we go for there. Finally, we get the black pepper upgrade. Oh my god. But yeah, the fact that I get to actually use these weeds to my advantage? It's nice. It was an accidental, like, big synergy. Probably going for the squirrel. Okay, we want- we need the black pepper. We need it! We need it! Anything to combine here? Let me sort again. Oh, nice. Kinda wanna even, like, pop it down anyways, but... So, does, is this not working? Passive daily limit four. Oh, 
Oh, weed flower. It's spreading the... Oh, no. That's what it is. It's spreading those. Spreading the weeds. That's not good. Bitter and spicy. Wet permit, spacious. At this point, we could use this spacious. We could finally get a peach upgrade. I mean, like, yeah, why not? I'll spread that one. Yeah, it feels like fall is actually messing up the hyacinth angle. I could be wrong, but it was working the first day, and then it stopped. Or it also stopped when we got it towards the legendary, so, like, maybe there's something up with that? I, I, I don't know. I just want to get more bees. On harvest, replant if the value is at least... I mean, sure. We'll try that out. Yeah, will I? Will I? We have so much garbage. This is so much money. We can do whatever we want. Water cost is fine. We'll see when we're out of this season, I guess. I guess we'll, I guess we'll just keep going. Looking for bees. Wouldn't mind another sprinkler, I suppose. We don't have a ton of that stuff, but that's. I think that's fine. Hyacinth. Draft an additional crop if it changes to the fruits. What are we working on right now? We are working on spinach. So there, I mean, there's that. I think I'm not taking. I think I'm not doing that. Durian. I don't know. I don't know. It is a bitter, which does help us with some stuff. Got a lot of sweet. What's some of our lower value stuff? Because we messed up the adjacencies by, by having all this empty space. But it's kind of working okay in a weird way. Uh, Hyacinth. Let's find the, the strawberry. All right, easy. Do you have any useless permits? Probably not. I kind of like my permits. I'm going to go for the animal. Fertilizer. We could get the fertilizer if we can find something to sell. I'm just going to get rid of that. Cucumber, ginger. Do we have... Did we upgrade the ginger ever? We did upgrade the ginger. Basil. Potato pea. Wait, I thought we had... Oh, no, we, we're working on another permit with a bee. I shall fill up all this... All of this space. Sooner or later. But yeah, that, that doesn't end up even being a problem. Which is kind of nice. I mean, we should probably work on the cauliflower. It's hard to get anything else to uh, too much of a higher tier while we're working on all these half permits here. So we should do something about that, I guess. We should sell one of these. What's the one that's like least value? I mean, now I'm I'm into all of those. That sucks. It's tight. I mean, I could just keep on running because we probably have... It looks like we have everything the way we need it. We don't really seem like we need to go for more. Um, Alright. Send it. Send it. It's a lot of money. Whatever we get here, I don't really care about.
It's not that I... It's not that it's bad, I just, like, I'm not going for that right now. The B upgrade to this... Whoop, whoop, makes sense here. I don't really care about any of this. So I'm going to go for the one that we can do the fastest. The Lotus Root could be good. Ginger's upgraded. Cauliflower for the road. Get me out of this season. Though I can't imagine that... Is winter going to be like a better season? Also, we know for a fact we have the... Like, we could just press, press the mash button and we'd be good all, all the way up until the end. We'd be good all the way up until the end there. Play the crop card in the next one slots. It obviously could be good. Call flower. I think at this point I'm going to get rid of the squirrel because I just want to stop having to click as many buttons. Ten value for each for each adjacent spicy. Oh, that's actually, wait, that value, that, wait. Oh, shoot. We're running a, an empty there. We don't need to. It might actually... It may behoove us. Oh! Okay, so it can't dupe the same flower. That's what it's talking about. I mean, that's fine. We can make that work. So we, we definitely have too many right now. Until we fix that. Look at the peach. We'll just have to... We'll just fix it then. Just fix it then, forehead. So we have three. It's, it's duping six. We can have up to six flowers... Duping, how many do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay, we're not uh, we're not missing that much. It's not that bad. Is there a spicy flower? We got ourselves a spicy flower. Oh my god. That went ham. That went absolutely ham. Big farm permit sounds good. Bell pepper or the spinach sounds good too, but it's also just like, what the hell do I do with all this? I'm going to sell that. I'm going to... Find a way to dupe the cauliflower without messing up my whole system. We, can get, we could even dupe like the red chili instead. How do I not mess up my whole system? I'm going to grab this and I'm going to just look at this for a second. Let me just look at this. Look at it. Look at it. All right. Hyacinth, that's fine, but there's like a million of them. One of the cauliflowers, red chili, thyme. The time. I guess I could look at the time. Would you look at the time? Oh, I'm not... Th that's fine. The time's not... The ginger... No, the ginger's helping something else with the black pepper. There's not like... A, there's not like a good remove. And even the thing is... The, the carrot... If we can get the carrot to top tier, it's getting a boost for every adjacent. It, that becomes really good. I'm never going to get the cauliflower. Like, the cauliflower is done. It's upgraded to the max, so we can go for the durian. Which means we kind of have to sell something because this stuff can't combine. I'm going to ditch the fruit there because we, we know we can combine that. Works for me. I've got to figure out how to not jank up the system. I want the big farm permit. That is something I feel like we should have been working on. Trade your unused crops in. Get a crop of the same type and tier. 
that feels increasingly usable. I, I sweet and bitter. So we definitely want the the bitter and spicy permit. This if, if there was a if I had a common version of this I would ditch that but like I just gonna can't crop does not mature a crop will not mature if it's not adjacent to another crop what the hell oh did not realize how much you'd screw me over on that one. That's so specifically against what we're doing here. I can't use that right now. It won't let me. I think we're fine on water. I think we can just say okay. So, all right. Removal. I don't have that much bitter. That's not true. Cauliflower gets duped a lot. This, I have to multiply the value by three... This, I mean, I might as well keep the flowers because we need extra space for stuff. The pepper's not doing a lot. I really like everything we have. I guess I could get rid of the spinach, but it's just like, if I get that spinach up to the next tier and it gets the value for being adjacent to bitter, that's going to be so good. That, that works so well. Man, I hate it, but I think I'm ditching the peach. I feel terrible about it. It feels stupid. But yeah, we need to get these empty spaces filled. All right. None of this is interesting to me. Get the carrot. I don't even think I... I don't think I want to do that either. Hmm. So that did not mature, so that's the issue there. Get the other carrots. Working on it. Yeah. We got too much space. I did not realize that the uh, the final zone was going to screw me so much on that. Uh, fertilizer, alcohol permit. I don't have a whole lot of... So the combination, this goes up to three. So combining those doesn't help us that much, but also I don't know that we necessarily... I don't know that we necessarily care here. Whatever we grab, we're just going to sell. Another duper. Bell pepper. Unless, I think I should find, I, I should tunnel vision a little bit more here. Like, sh again, we have way more than enough money, like, for uh, ever. <laughs> we can just keep on mashing done until we're done, but where's the fun in that? Okay, we're definitely going to get the replicator, so we can replicate yet another thing. You know what? Fine. I think it's going to be okay there. I guess we're going to end up getting another replicator. Play the next crops in the next two slots. Uh, For right now, is it like going to be better to just get all the hyacinths out? Probably not. I think I think we do leave the cauliflower there. I think we do. So we can't... So we can... If we skip this, that, I guess that's the fastest way. If I really don't care, that's the fastest way to get through it. I'm going to get rid of this. It's not that it's not good. It, it's good. I just don't care about it. If we played with the speed up mode on in the first place, then... Oh boy. Okay, we're going to go for the big farm permit. Arrow no... Black pepper. We should have. It's so 
expensive. These rolls are so expensive, it makes no sense, but I'm just doing it anyways because I want to make the funny carrot. Oh, God. Okay. That earned us a lot of space to play with so we can go for the spicy peppers as well. Which is kind of like the other thing that we would want to get up to max because it like gets lots of good adjacency bonuses by uh, our cauliflower. That would be the big thing. Same deal. I think I skip. I don't know. If I could find another time, cool. If I can't, fine. Second to last payment, just like that. Get another duper out there. Oh, there we go. Next three crops. We should... I, I will be real. It should have been the, <laughs> the spicy pepper. Like I'm aware. Okay. Chili. That's just like... Because we're planting so many individual crops that when we can buff up the whole board by a flat amount there, it's like really, really useful. It's it'll say that it's not getting us that much the spicy pepper the red chili is 66 But like it's buffing up the the black peppers by a ton. That's the thing Durian I mean I could but like There's things that we I see that I do want but like, yeah, the board buffer ones or um, carrots or bell peppers so we can get the top tier so they get multiple, like, they can be affected by multiples. You know what? It's just finally like, oh, shoot, that's that, that's that one. Reroll, reroll. Spinach as well. Time is good, but like. What's the. Does the high tier hyacinth. It'd be interesting if the upgrade for the high tier is that it like actually spread to three or something. We definitely should have at least 16. Come on now. Give me the carrot. I want the carrot. Fine. I'll take the bell pepper. It's going to be too much work to get it to where we need to get it, but I don't even think we're going to get it in time, but it also doesn't matter. A win's a win's a win. There's the carrot. So the thing is, it's not like we don't need just one carrot. We need like a lot of carrots because we need to get the rares, and then we need to find uh, the epics, and then we combine those. So it's a lot of work left here. It ain't happening, Captain. But that is okay. Six out of seven. We're just about done. I think we just keep on taking the big farm permits for the time being. It's the highest synth, I know, but like at this point, at this point, it's personal. <laughs> Arugula. Arugula. There's a spicy vegetable. That had that's a thing that <laughs> I. That would have been nice. That 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 just would have been nice. A long while ago. Could have gotten like the spinach boost as well. Like, get out of here, dude. Just whatever. On harvest. Okay, so replant. Cool. Victory! Not even close to close to close. Slowly improve your skill and increase your rating in rating mode. What? 
victory, relaxed. What is that? Rating mode. Start with three sprinklers, total payment, 27,840. I mean, we probably could have done that totally fine. So it's like a... Huh. It's like, it takes the amount that you prove you can do, and then it, like, auto-sorts you into, like, your proper difficulty level? That's kind of interesting. I will say, boy, this run was a lot longer than I was expecting. I know we turned on this the fast mode, like, halfway through, and it, like, it did help and speed it up. Holy moly, I actually, like, not that I don't like it, but I don't know if I can run this as a daily series, just because it does seem quite hefty and quite long, but I really like it. I do really like it. Hey, let me know. Comment down below if you want to see more uh, as far as just, like, amount of time I can set aside for a daily series. It, it, it's, it's a tall ask, so it's going to have to be something that you guys really want. So, But if you really want it, then we will do it. So let me know in the form of a comment down below, and I'll see what we can make happen if you guys are really excited for more. But last, last, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Lights more every single day. If that is a genre that you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.